This video will show you how to format your text data for export in the Onset Hobolink web product, which is used with the Onset remote monitoring systems. The video will also show you how to create a custom data query and how to schedule automatic delivery of your text data. You can set your global export settings by hovering over the Settings tab and select Export. And here is a form you can fill out. You put in your preferences for um, formatting your text data. The selections for file format are CSV, which is comma separated value, Excel, or Hoboware CSV, which includes formatting to allow direct import into Onset's Hoboware Pro software package. The rest of the selections are fairly straightforward. Um, you can see that some are uh, overwritten if you select Hoboware CSV. And these are very similar. If you're, if you're familiar with Onset's Hoboware Pro software package, this formatting is very similar. Uh, you can select time format, default time zone, um, how you want your data to be set, your dates to be separated, etc. You can also put in some default information about if you have an FTP site that you want data to be delivered to, you can put that information here. You can also put in a default email address if you wish. And select if you want email attachments to be compressed in the zip format. These are global export settings. Um, if you want to select or create a custom data query, you would go to Data, Custom Data, and it takes you to the custom data form. Click on Create New Settings. This gives you the ability to create a custom data query based on any or all remote monitoring systems and or individual sensors that might be included in any of those devices. So here, let's create a sample data set. We had one previously, so it showed up in our menu. You can override the file format from what was set in global if you wish. You can set up the time zone. There are several criteria you can set up for your exporting um, your data range. You can, you can export data um, between two points, to, between two times, before a specific time, after a specific time, or over the past certain amount of time. If you're going to select data delivery, automatic data delivery, it has to be, you have to select over the past. So we're going to do that now. So you could say export all data over the past day if you're interested. And note that a maximum of six months of data is available for export. Otherwise the data would be, the file would be so big it would take so long to connect. Um, so we limit to six, to six months. Under devices, if you check off a specific device, it automatically includes all of the measurements or all of the sensors that are connected to that device. If you're interested in only exporting or only delivering data from specific sensors from specific remote monitoring systems, if you click on the little triangle here, you can select specific sensors from specific devices. Just like this one and that one. And so basically, this is your query here. Um, these are the sensors that will be included in the data set that we called sample data set. And we can, if we click Save, this will save that as a query called sample data set. If we click on Export Data, it will immediately send that data to a .csv file on your computer. We click Save. And now you can see under Saved Export Settings, we have a a, a query called sample data set that will include the data over the past one day. So now if what we're interested in now is we want to create a delivery schedule for this data. We want to have this data delivered to us automatically periodically. So if we click on schedule delivery and we can see we have no scheduled deliveries currently so we want to click on new. And here you can give it you can give your uh, delivery a name. You can tell it how often you want this to be delivered to you. 
and you can select deliver only new data which if so if you have over overlap from one file to the next it will only include the new data it won't overwrite anything it will just include that new data and then you can also select to email you if you have a delivery failure so we're going to select this for de for delivery down at the bottom of the screen we have the ability to select how we want to receive this data you can select either an FTP site and again it will take that um, default FTP information that if you put it in previously or you can override it here or you can send it via email if you wish uh, or you can do both and then you, you can also select to compress the email and, and give it a uh, dot zip extension if you have a lot of data coming through and then you click save okay and now we can see we have something called new schedule it's all scheduled and ready to go for more information on onset products and the hobolink web product please go to our website at onsetcomp.com thank you